I see some interesting. Um, so your energy sphere looks like, you know, like if you have a ball and split into halves and there's a river going in the middle and there are little bridges over the river. And I see you standing as an old man, white skin, with the blue, it was like a bluish tint to it. It goes in slightly in spots, but it's not like polka dots or anything. They don't have edges to them. They're just... Uh, Mm, like strokes of um of an artist was the brush type thing, light blue on the skin. Then they're very big forehead that goes over here, kind of curls over. And I see like dolphins sticking the, the heads out of that river, like a stream under the um bridges over and you're talking to them connect with them telepathically your robe looks metallic it's like made out of metallic material and it's like a kimono type robe you say you come from series A and you say that you know me they asked you and you say that you, 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 you switch, you switch your roles. You want to know better the uh, animal kingdom. And you like to be a dolphin and then you like to be a human form. And you're saying that the situation all around this universe is that's what you don't like. And I see some sort of cubes you're showing me. It's kind of interesting. The bridges go like in horizontal position, one up by the other, but then you levitate over. And the, basically you're saying that there's just like a water projection that is leading you to series a like a portal like a water portal in an ocean you're saying the uh, the uh, universe is the ocean the portals are the streams leading through the ocean like the currents different currents lead to different planets planetary systems i see like you walk into some sort of pyramid pyramid is made out of it's like, um, it's not a stone, it's like a material of some sort of, um, uh, it's like melted uh, metal of some sort, like bronze, but it's melted and you can see when it got like dry, it formed some sort of waves down. On top of the pyramid, there's like a little spot where speaker spot when you can talk to people from it. You said that you have to start. There's different things you do. The one thing you do is then, as you say, you you catch and educate the, the uh, souls climb up to high understanding but then they have a grand grand fall let's say somebody goes to seventh dimension and then rolls down to third due to not the correct um 
it's kind of like waves, waves in the sea, you say. That you you can you can catch the wave, but then sometimes you fail to catch it. The failure to catch is when your consciousness does not grow as fast as this planet's consciousness. Hmm. Your name is like Silius, Silonus, Silon, Silon, Silonus, hmm. like that, Silonus. I see some interesting people there. I see different. Um, it's just kind of like um, a big, a big field on the surface surface looks like glass but it's cold it's cold to touch it's like ice iced and you say that there is one of the timelines where our planet was supposed to get like ice like this like serious because the uh the ice on the one side would melt and would cover with the ice on the other side. It's always depending on whether we will let the giant beast to be unleashed from the oceans of the Earth. The giant beast looks like a sea snake with wings. And you say that Every planet in the du within the duality system of this universe that has now has its own personific personification of evil and like a stereotype, like um, and now a planet that's a snake that you can see everywhere. Because everywhere you see the snake in symbology, it means it's holding the uh, precious soul under control and all of them under its control. The way that the snakes are born, the eggs are related to the way that souls have the shells the same idea they have to break through the shells you came here to teach that through your passageway and you go back and forth a lot through that water portal of blue energy swirling that looks like it looks like that stream of water with bridges over and the bridges are like stages of life it's like metaphor for a deeper understanding of certain stretches of your life like pockets of time almost each pocket of time has a reflection bridge where you talk to sea creatures who connect to you telepathically and you both share information with each other. You are saying that the potential of this planet is grand and unique. The problem is it was programmed to return to the cycles all the time until we understand how to break the cycle of the snake eating its own tail because that's what's pretty much we've been doing in a spiral of times. She lived 48 lives, just mm -hmm. 49s. And you're saying that the fifth, 50th life is like a metaphor for five galaxies that you visited 
in your other lifetimes, parallel ones. You like Andromeda a lot. You feel like the people there are very much advanced in their spirituality. And you got a little bit of, you're like a hybrid in between ba Bali people, you say it. That's why you have the bluish spots on your skin because those are the ones from there are Altairians too you say that Altair used to be a very you used to have very compassionate humanoid beings living there but not anymore because it was taken over by reptilians the history of this universe is always about taking over the stronger one takes over the weaker one and you want to change it because there are groups of we would call them wise men but some of them are guarding the structures that remind that are composed of the crystals of each planet. I actually see one that looks different from you. He has very like tan skin with blonde hair and the beard. He has a stick like an old, it kind of reminds me how they draw Moses, Moses stick mm -hmm. curved on top. And he's walking around the big tall mountain of purple semi-transparent rock he says those crystals are very powerful and they need to be preserved and not taken by the dark skinned reptilians that are draconians in their root um oh god they they are they're creating more and more armies they are creating more and more biological creatures that are supposed to intimidate and take over humanity they're working on more more viruses, more bugs, more ways to to get to human race because they want to build superhuman race in order to build it. You have to take, you have to see who is the strongest and take the strongest DNA. That's why a lot of souls who are waking up now, they're the ones who came here to stop them from doing just that. You, you, you show me like ribbons, different color ribbons, and you say that these are the layers of people, how they took them over different ways different success rates also and different approaches because it used to be one fabric but they was cut into ribbons each one represents a layer like a stratosphere let's say and each one stuck in his own reality stripe that's why we say everybody creates his own reality but the problem is you are pretty much stuck in that reality that you're creating because you limit yourself by your belief system within the range of uh, vibrational frequencies of that particular reality. And they know about it, but then they can plug in any information and upload it to your brain through this particular ribbon of your 
particular reality you lock yourself in by connecting to the people who are also in it by believing in what they believe and it goes on and on because it spreads it's like um it's like a virus like a cloud it's like a cloud that covers or the fog that covers the other minds and they become foggy also so what you're saying is 48 lives of collecting wisdom 48 lives of i see the beings they look like um they have humanoid body they have the wings but under the wings i see the arms and they have very long um prolonged it's kind of like those egyptian birds if they look like um those birds with long beaks i'm looking at one right now and you're saying that those are coming those came from anunnaki it's very it was very disturbing how the, they would teach people and how they um, studied the psychology of a human brain and how they corrected the bibles of the world that we call holy books or whatever because they're all based on the um, negative psychology and also they created ways in different countries of negative selection where you would separate the uh, strong powerful souls from the young souls who just came here don't know what they're doing because the young souls are like children they can be taught the wrong ways without them realizing what what, what those ways are wrong and what you do is you go to different groups of souls like that and you're trying to put a blanket of informational reality over their heads and see if they're ready to observe this information or not and you record it in your book i see you holding a book Wait, I also see somebody is looking at me. I, I all of a sudden like I see from far away kind of like space and then explosions and then like um like that that observation too like this. Mm. There's a big insectoid form made out of metal that thing. And you say that that's the insectoid machine that grays i understand why why you showed me the cubes before the cubes contain the souls the grays are the ones who transport the souls from one planet to another separating the um the wholeness um and the connection it's like they want to disrupt your connection from your own original planet they're trying to do it to everybody and when you don't know what planet is the more dear to your heart then they will try to destroy it that connection and you're working on it right now you're creating those water passage portals as the universe is much like the ocean with different fabrics of realities and different it's like a cave system you're saying except that's like a cave system of different vibrations that are held in a certain fabric of reality which produces and holds different um solar systems and there are five of them and that's why the symbology of this universe is a five-pointed star and 
That's why we have five fingers on the hands and feet because it's a representation of of our universe. Our universe represents us and we represent the universe. And it's all one streamline of energy that is like a point of the laser light that expands and starts growing as a threat of light. But it's at a different level of understanding. Right now, the people of Earth unfortunately did not read, did, did not understand what it is all about, how the uh, cycle of the uh, that that water snake, the beast that lives under sea, is coming out slowly right now. But we're gonna disrupt the cycle, and the snake will never eat its tail again. Because in between the snake's head and the tail, there's gonna be a like a gate, like a stargate built by the souls incarnated in the human bodies to keep this exit open for all those who want to leave. And you, I see how you go to different interesting. Right now I see there's like a space and there are like rocks in space. They're just floating, they're big platforms. They have this underneath like an iceberg but upside down but the tip of the iceberg is underneath and they have different civilizations there they um and they go through portal systems also they're the ones who used to live on earth but left because what do you do when the uh, trouble comes you leave because you don't resonate with the trouble. Uh, you don't resonate with that vibration of destruction. That's why you leave. And that's how they left. Living behind the artifacts that the reptilians they keep, keep looking for because they want to own them all they want is to be in charge of the whole universe. And that's why they're fighting with the other alien groups to take control over the parts of the Earth first and then the whole, the whole big gated community as we call Earth. But that very gated community is gonna be one community at some point and then they're gonna implement, they're gonna try to implement one state of affairs, one state of governing, one state of religion approach. And there would be a big nodule, there would be a big decision-making moment for everybody. What do you really want? Do you want them to do that to you or do you want to decide for yourself? And then by, by the year 2036, as you say, it's gonna be all decided there. And you're saying right now, we're just connecting to people who are participating in this process of monitoring the reality within the uh, from a perspective of a soul incarnated in a human body because that's the only way to understand everything from inside and out from outside to inside you cannot understand you can only observe the outside 
but because we observe everything from inside, we believe in something will make it true. We believe we're gonna die, we die. We believe we're gonna get sick, we get sick. And we believe we don't know better. Then we need somebody to explain. And that's why we block ourselves with our belief. And that's what you teach the uh, you go from one of those platforms to another a lot and you consult those. It's like tribal communities of different groups of humans that used to occupy <laughs> Earth. We see Atlanteans there. I see some some people uh, dressed up as Romans. I see some short people, Mayans, very robust, very muscular, short, very big eyes. Don't don't, don't look like human eyes. But the thing is, you say that. It all weighing you down. It is all created like, like layers. Layers that you thought they were layers of protection, but they're layers of frustration and disbelief in some of the processes that are going on. And you would like to reconnect You've seen a lot of things happening and you say that there is going to be a cycle from which this earth has started when humans saw the uh, very close, the round, flat, metallic spaceships coming every day and they saw the aliens who would come from them. And we are approaching that cycle in something around 2040s, in the 30s, at the end, when the people would see that too. And then the technology will be used in some parts of the world that is beyond belief, but it'll be used for correction. You can use the laser ball technology. You can use the upward laser beam technology and downward to to connect and to create the pillars of light of support so you can connect to the sun's energy. The sun's energy connects to the five points of the star that represents the universe of humans. We are the true creators and inhabitors of this universe. They are the species just took over our evolutionary um, cycle or a spiral. I see like a picture of it. And I feel there's something in your head that is very um, heavy and you say that is really weighing you down. It's kind of like in this area. And when I looked inside, it's almost like a, like, um, it looks like a shell, but it's not a shell. It looks like something made out of spikes, metallic spikes, and there's lots of them. There's a short ones, there's long ones, there's longer ones, and they're all like laid up all up all upon each other, creating kind of like a half circle kind of device. And those are put by those birds, those birds from Anunnaki that you said 
that those are the ones who would always try to take control over Earth, starting from the giants that came, because they are the pro they are the prototypes, if you can say it, of the Anunnaki. That they're the ones who try to implement the control systems first, which would be there's only one, the smartest one who knows better for everybody, and everybody has to get used to it. That's the only way. In reality, a lot of countries that people don't really need any control, don't need anybody who would tell them or who would lead them. They can regroup, they can form groups, and they can lead themselves in groups. So there would be like multiple leaders at the same time. And that's what this world is breaking down into, into groups, small groups with local leaders who would propose smart ideas and the group would support or not support or refuse. So that's how it's going to be from now on. But you're taking out this thing from your head. I see you holding it. It has a little red and a black cords and they're intertwined, like twisted. And it goes into the spinal cord and goes kind of like on the right, well, your left outside and changes like connects to this water stream in your energy sphere. Then I see the, um, there are different devices that's been used throughout lives. But you never signed any contract. It was like, trying to go back, which life was that? Life in Mesopotamia was a very significant for you. You picked it yourself, but that's when you got connected to this Egyptian timeline with those birds. There's also where lots of strange looking animals, hybrids in the laboratories raised in underground cave systems of Mesopotamia. There's There are pyramids underneath also that we don't see, they're deep, deep in the ground. It used to be like I, I, see, I see like interesting thing like a like a big uh, wall and uh, there's just like opening the beautiful entrance and picks a gothic style kind of um, windows very long the door is very tall and very lean obviously for different body type of a human was very thin and tall, not like humans now. And so that was the times when there were <laughs> kind of timelines interwined and there were also giant races who were controlling humans. They were in control of certain human races and also they were breeding children with the humans and that's why there is some leftover of those mutations are walking among us in those bodies those bodies are usually very abnormally tall and you just you're just studying all of it you have this book and you just write down everything. It's like an electronic kind of screen book. It's actually transparent glass with, it does have some stick, but it's like a stick and then it's a zigzag. 
and each each part of the zigzag looks like a different metallic color like you, you take i see the yellow the red the blue the green like primary colors and they're metallized and you know which one to um to pick to highlight the certain ideas because when you highlight it absorbs what you had and your head starts um processing the information into some logical um kind of way and then you can see let's say the future of that timeline in a way that the, all the possible futures and then you see which one that was picked and then you see the next time they would pick a different one it's, it's kind of like an analytical um advisor of um some timelines i um the cords are gone from the spinal cord you took them out there is an interesting thing on the right side from starting from under the right arm there's like a shadow of an energy. It looks like a man who was in power before. It's some Egyptian king. And um, he has strange webbed feet. And he has a very kind of like the head looks like a gray's head, but the white white skin like a human skin and he's somehow connected to you through those birds because right now you're putting them in the just like a tall glass containers and you say give me the um give me my power back whatever that means but he gives you the um it's like gr um Kind of like growl, kind of like this um, container, beautiful looking container made out of different colored glass, tin tinted in different colors. And I see there's energy, and I think it's the energy produced by you, and as if they took it, as if that energy contains some spirals of knowledge because everything you record it turns into a spiraling kind of almost looks like a dna but those are strands of information that you brought or analyzed and fixated on this in this genes mm -hmm. so nobody could, could decode it or something like this I see like um, this beautiful vase and there's um, it's like a swirling energy but I when I get closer I see the once again I see those like ribbons of light of different colored light and I feel there's information there that is very important to for the destruction of the um, uh, the church system, the, the system of that control that Anunnaki basically installed. And then they created also alternative system of gods. It was like that. It's like they tried different ways to see if different people incarnated would accept different systems, but as part of one system so even the uh, different spiritual movements that would be the part of the same very system that they created so there would be a great great deception happening all the time on the planet completely taken over except they can only take over I see like one around one force of the population of the original planet and that's one force is when they do the experiments mostly on 
mental, emotional bodies. You take in some sort of ring. It's like a ring with this, like a princess card, kind of like pink, magenta, color stone. You say that originally was for protection, but then into turned because of this other um, device on the head, it started malfunctioning and it stopped helping. So it's like semi working or you're just disrupting slightly about 30%, taking 30% of your energy and disrupting the um, electromagnetic field. But um, right now I see kind of like you, you're still connected to the portal, but I don't see the bridge, bridges anymore for reflection. I see you're walking along the lake and I see you getting into the waters and cleansing yourself. And I also see that you're working with other souls who are stopping alpha draconians from torturing kids in, at night and their sleep, in their dreams, it's trying to scare them because you're saying right now very strong souls came to, to help Earth rebuild, reconfigure. Um, and only those souls can build up new seven generations of freedom and happiness that the earth have never seen before in such large capacity. Because all they do is they start when those children are small and they would come every night and scare them, show them scary dreams, situations, timelines, like nightmares, and you disrupt. You have some device that stick, that I saw before that the other one had, the other alien kind of humanoid form walking around this big light purple a uh, mountain of rocks, crystals, and uh, you have similar thing. There's something about this stick. It's like a conductor of energy in your hands that you can conduct negative energy or positive energy. If you conduct the right charge of the positive energy to annul, neutralize the negative energy that is being used by a particular alpha draconian focused on this particular child, usually at night, you can totally disarm him. And that's what you do at night. You cleanse your mental, emotional bodies. You took off all the fog all the layers, layers, layers that were stuck on you throughout those lives. And you just raised your vibration. I see it's going in waves, in blue, blue waves, like water, like shh, shh, shh like that. And you're just cleansing every single cell, every single muscle tissue in your body, especially the organs like the liver, the kidneys. And then I see the kind of like nose, check, cheeks, like a lot of energy cleansing, like the head area everywhere. So kind of like a sticky uh, water that everything gets stuck on it and it brings the um, kind of dirt out. It's been there for all those lives. 
It's like your, the process you invented you're doing. Hundreds and one strands of DNA, you're saying it's very symbolic. From a number one signifies that it takes only one stream of light to create multiple streams of light, to create a lot. We come from one, we return to one. Before one is nine, the end of the cycle. So, um, just looking at if you have any, no, you don't have any, um, clones. You're laughing. You're saying that all the clones are back in series A. Mm -hmm. It's, it's more like, not like clones, but your lives, but because you chose not to change the bodies, you created three different bodies on top of this. So it all together is four and they just like gaining experience because it's important to have people who carry experience and knowledge and wisdom in every culture, in every race, because without that, you cannot build anything new and reconfigured for the better of the development of anthropological knowledge, which is your consciousness grows on different circumstances. Some people still didn't. Some areas of Earth are going to be fought in some, some of the areas like Australia. I see Australia like a weird way. It's like stripes, 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 stripes. Like they want to take it for that for themselves. So it's like a main plug. It's it's a main plug on some area that is very important, very significant energetically. Therefore, it has to be clean cleaned of cleansed cleaned of humans or something. The surface, but the human souls are gonna let it happen. Even though they're going to go through storms and storms, tornadoes, energetic disturbance, physical disturbance. Some countries is going to be attacked more than others in this fight of the... Uh, it's like an energetic fight. It's like who's pushing more, stronger against the force. It, it's, it's been cooked forever, but now it's it got to the point of boiling point. That's why it's happening now. And that's why you're saying that the urge to understand what exactly you're doing and at the physical level will just be one by one be pushed to react and do something physically to um, to support the system of, um, it's not the opposition system, it's more like focus on building something and then uh, in the process of building, just helping others join the group of builders of the new earth. It's, it's all different terminology. It really is not what it is, but in a long, long, long time, people will learn. They'll, they'll gain the capacity by opening their DNA, like you're opening your DNA right now, to become more energy-based, to, to stop eating to energize themselves from the sun solely. <sighs> 
because we're all like part of the sun. It's hard to explain what I see. It's kind of like each of us is a flower, some flower, and the just the clue, the clue who we are and how we can be. And the same idea with the eyes. The eyes tell you what area you belong to. You belong more to the blue sky, which is the ocean of the universe. Or, or you have the green eyes that belong more to the greenery and the uh, flora of the universe and different planets. Or are you more belonging to the trees and the trunks and the core of the root system with your brown eyes? And then you have to take care of the... Um, trees and the ground and the growing and raising and ro rocks that are really not rocks. They're just solidified waters of the universe containing information and consciousness that used to be able to move freely across the planet here. But then at some point they were deactivated so they stopped carrying the potential that they brought in at a soul level here. I see rocks move, like crawl by themselves all over the place, kind of roll together too, like people would just walk together. Interesting. So, but you're saying we'll live in mother mountains with the baby rocks round, as the mother mountains will give people shelter in some areas of the earth where people are ready to reconnect with their natural abilities of how easy it is to survive in the nature because everything will be different. And the map will look different. And the waters will be going up, up, up. Changing, shifting continents because of that. You just keep standing there. And it looks like a um, prolonged kind of like rectangular iPad glass thing you're holding in your hand. And you're just looking at it and just explaining to me. But yeah, you burned up a lot of, it's almost like metallic dust that your body collected, had. There's little sticks, spiderwebs, twigs that were in the lags also but the word like stomach and esophagus came up and the kidneys and like all those systems the liver cleansed it's almost like was electricity or something because i see it kind of like um um electrical bolts of energy the blue You've connected, you've been connected a lot to the water planets too. We've <laughs> been a dolphin a lot. Hmm. The dolphins have uh, interesting beaks. Not like our dolphins, they're more prolonged and more cone like, sharper. There are pink dolphins, there are green dolphins. They're purple ones, the gray. There were the translucent ones who go in rainbow colors too. Di different.
but um, yeah, you cleansed everything. It just you. Uh, you're saying the knowledge you bring to others, that's what your rational, physical part was missing. And that's why you would always like to turn to yet another source, yet another source, and you never felt like you found enough informational resource for yourself to complete the whole entire picture. Something was always missing there. And it was just, then you had that the search continues. But now you feel like it's just a wait and see game beginning to unfold. Because the waves of energy are not truly really predetermined at this point how they're going to go and whom they're going to touch first. But there's going to be different waves at a physical and non-physical levels. You're going to carry different things. They're going to affect uh, people at the surface level. And you know about it. You know about so-called alien invasion or whatever that is but it's not going to be an invasion they're just going to show up they really are that's what people been talking about forever it's going to happen you know about it it's just that everything's going to be happening at some point so unexpectedly because they said the years of unexpected things happening before the year 26 there's going to be things like that happening and happening and happening out of the blue mm. yeah you can ask questions if you want but i see that you cleanse yourself and i i see you as this old wise man standing on the little bridge <laughs> that is uh, right now it's not even a bridge it's like you're floating uh, above it but you spend a lot of time in reflection mm -hmm. so is there any like tragedies that I've overcome yeah because they've been when you were like when you said that I've seen I saw a dolphin with the blood all over and I saw the spears and I saw the uh, man looking like um, you know like Neptune type but those are Anunnaki that they used to disturb the oceans and they used to use the oceans as the portal system for the low vibrational beings to get through them into the earth and they wanted to eliminate a lot of underwater races. And dolphins were helping when um, reptilians from Orion on spaceships used to attack their underwater uh, caves on the ships. I see the ships going through water straight into the caves. And they would try to open the uh, portals and there would be like a bunch of dolphins trying to defend the, um, it's kind of standing by the gate, guards, guards, guarding. Um, from the human lives, there's a lot of, The trauma there is related to different things. It's to to defend to defend what it what what is the right. It's like you always know this inside yourself and ask yourself at subconscious level, what do I bring to this world? What do I bring? What do these other people bring? And it's like I see it throughout your lives. If you see that the um, 
people bring negativity, negative things that they're trying to create or implement, that you should try to fight against them. I see you being a little child, uh, fighting against or helping your mother who's being abused by your father and trying to help her and calling the neighbors. Somewhere in um, you know, Malaysia came to me to mind, somewhere there. And then there's a part of a that came right away after, but it's a different life. And you're like a teacher, somebody, you teach your teacher to children, 14 years old. You're teaching something like, like looks like um, some sort of biology related to a biology, biochemistry, something like this, biophysics. You mm -hmm. see some formulas too. But you take them out to the woods and apply, try to tell them how to apply the knowledge. Um, There's a lot of lives in in Europe, like in Central Europe. I see the in Germany. I see there, like I see the fight for freedom, freedom of thought, idea. Because there's never freedom. You say there's never freedom there. There's never true freedom there. There's always underground stones and the river of information that are you know like bombs if you stop on it step on it if kind of like creates a obstacle in your life you try to eliminate the obstacle i see also like a veterinarian healing it's 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 the mountains it looks like croatia so it looks like a former yugoslavia or something area that's where i see you in the village you're treating like young cows cute uh chickens rabbits birds a lot of birds you like watching birds hmm. pigeons beautiful looking pigeons And it just in between lives, it's kind of interesting. It's because you did have this, it's like you created, you yourself, connected to those birds in Egypt that you got disconnected now from in order to understand how is that that they took over a human mind, the beautiful human mind that likes to think in a very freedom-like way? And how can you encapsulate, put something, put a free thinking thinker into the borders how you can, it's all based on research of the central nervous system and emotional body and the mental bodies involved as a whole. That's why we're so they're interested in us. I also saw you, just saw you in Macedonia, Macedonia, Macedonia. Losing your children, your three sons. In the what came to me is the war. Draconians came. And they are. It's like some. Looks like firework, but the little balls of fire exploding in the sky touching people and people people are fighting with aliens 
And there's a Mas Macedonian, Macedonian. I know there's two, two, two ways to pronounce it came to me. There's underground Pentagon type facilities that are used now as draconian headquarters because it's um it's like a sacred place with a very powerful energies but they created the headquarters so they can drain the energies of the people whose dna carries important information But yeah, I see you a lot by yourself, like by yourself, not not like. I don't see you. If I go through lives, kind of gives me a perception that you didn't really have my, you know, partners or a lot of support. Um, more like by yourself and so used to it, and just picking a friend or two and going through life like that mm, because it was hard to find somebody who would support your beliefs would support you in your beliefs and in your expression of your own self because you understood as an old wise man that this whole system is created against the self-expression against the uh, individuality no matter how many times they say that you have the right to express yourself as an individual, it's just on the paper most of the time. There are always underlying conditions and rules and regulations that suppress you in many ways. So, but you're saying that at some point you just have to spread the knowledge and leave and it's going to become up to others to take it or not. Mm -hmm. That sounds agreeable very much. Mm. <sighs> so, um, well, when you talked about the dolphins, um, I have this phobia of what like, it's hard to even tell you, but it's boats. I can be on a boat, but like big ships and thinking about their propellers underwater. It's even, I just can't even look at a picture mm -hmm. I can be on a cruise ship or a big boat, but I can't go under the water. Um, and I had an, a, an anxiety attack when I was on the Queen Mary and long boat in Long Beach, just going through a door to view the propeller. It's so hard for me to even say that. <laughs> um, and I just have always wondered why, what happened? And you mentioned the dolphin and I'm like, hmm, that's why I asked if there were any tragedies. Because, yeah, I've seen this, like the, the I told you, right, the blood, the dolphin that was killed. The big stick like a spear or something yeah and and then you were protecting the cave entrance the main from the draco ships coming underwater right. and attacking it just a lot of battles kind of like related to water right. and that kind of makes you water you know, when we do a lot of something, we just don't want to do it anymore. We're done. It's like when somebody has been doing a lot of fighting in wars and they parallel lives, doesn't want to do it this time around. It's kind of the experience traumatized you to the point that you don't want to even think about being close to that situation. No your conscious soul and mm -hmm. yeah it, it depends what your experience was if it was traumatic or not some people are just like 
their souls are made of water. You can say that and they have a very deep connection. There's no matter what they want to be by water. But it, it depends. I mean, in your case, you don't have the um, any contracts or anything. It's like you came by yourself mm. to bring the knowledge to spread it. Um, but I feel some sort of what you were cleansing in your mental emotional body is just the um, disappointment that um, big percentage of people on this planet are not ready to accept your knowledge. Mm -hmm. so. so, so that's that's interesting about the dolphins. That's okay. yeah, it's kind of like because our development and progress was hindered, was stopped in so many ways by all those alien races. Um, it's almost as if some other races are afraid of dealing with us because we're connected to destruction um, and poison mind control type thing. That's what your subconscious is saying. And you can't solely blame it on us, but there's also things like uh, survival effect, effect of being liked by society, dependence on that, bring us down and behind the natural soul evolution and understanding and this particular body. Because without the body, we know all of it. We don't need to learn anything. It's only within the limits of the body filter we all of a sudden have to get to this point and it's very hard because of also this strong desire to live and survive and and in order to do that you have to be liked you have to be um in this society you know not rejected by it completely so there's a lot of things and you're saying it's it's a very complex um a geometrical structure around every human created by a mental programming, you know, self and outside too. Right. So, so what we're doing, I feel like, is taking a walk through, you know, the history of, I guess, my soul and my different lives. And does it make any sense? Like you said, there's no contract, and I've always heard souls have contracts. But is all of this experience common for everybody? No, no. Not all souls have contract. If you decided to come here, it's like you are, you, you can describe your soul as a. Um, Oh, it comes to me like a, like a second wave of volunteers. Yes. Uh, described by Dolores Cannon. Fine. You can. Yeah. Yes. Those don't have contracts. They, they have agreement with their own soul in a way. Like, I wanted to help because that's how souls are. Souls always want to help. So people who always want to help, they're very connected to their souls. Um, others who only care about themselves are very connected to the reptilian brain that was artificially installed, like a implant in the hands. You know. Okay. So forty, you say forty-eight lives. You could. This is forty-nine right now. Yep. Is that um, common or? It, de it depends. It depends. I mean, for me, it's number one. For you, it's 49. But you just, I, I see like you were, you wanted to jump from one big historical moment to another in different timelines every life to understand um, 
your subconscious is saying how to understand how crazy and psychotic the whole earth's history is because every time we as humanity get to the point of understanding deep understanding uh, our we are raised from face of earth by natural disasters or by getting implants all over or uh, diseases come and wipe us out and it depends uh, right now you are opening a big umbrella and saying that okay here's the rain the rain is gonna rain everything that's been in the past so everything you look at like the um decades of diseases the decades of national like the disasters that, that couldn't be helped the decades of misunderstanding of each other and fighting with each other the decades of fear of being erased from like the whole earth exploding every single thing that's been in the past is going to rain down on us right now and after this rain is going to be the sun coming back the cycle is over because the cycle starts with drama and ends with drama. That's what you're saying. Okay. I, I, in heaven on earth, I mean, I envision humanity not having evil and, you know, being united and helping and serving each other. No, no egotistical, no, you know, money, everybody's got to make money. I just, kind of see that world yeah because the earth is pushing us towards the point each and every one of us to the point when when you have nothing to lose yes you'll support each other oh that's good and you'll unite because everybody's in the same situation and this situation is much higher than the just simple level of surviving or acquiring things but more as life and death situation do we survive as humanity then we have to unite or do we just care until the very end until the earth explodes it's a metaphorical type explanation and keep collecting and acquiring who got more things than others you know right <sighs> interesting well let me for the past year i've been on a big um quest trying to understand all of this and i'm kind of new to all this energy intuition crystals and i've been on a massive learning um, roller coaster and it got launched because um, I have a dog that took off last March his name is Stitch and I've been working with an animal communicator um, near us up in Door County and mm -hmm. she and I talk almost every week I've had sightings of him and we live in farmland and woods and from day one, she said that he is, she thinks he's like a, a soul partner of mine and he's on a mission and he's healing earth. And he's a soul that was trying to do this work years ago and came back as a dog. And he tells us he's having great success healing mother earth and putting grid lines down. And I mean, it's a crazy story, but from everything I'm learning, I've crossed check and hear the same thing from different sources and I don't know if I'm ever going to get the dog back but we think he's still alive in the area <laughs> and I'm, I'm processing you know this I'm trying to put a puzzle together like I think a lot of people are yeah I see well I saw the dog's face right away when you started talking but to me he comes as this kind of brownish uh, face. Um, I don't know the uh, names of the uh, breeds of the dogs, it's but German. it's like Black a German. long, 
He's a black German Shepherd, yeah. Yeah. With very plain ears. Yeah, yeah, the, the brown. He's just, he feels like very um, strong and calm to me. Yeah. I don't feel like in danger or anything. No. Hmm. And he's just lying down like on the grass looking at me with one paw out like this. <laughs> so a very kind of smart eyes and looking at me. <laughs> what are you going to say about me? But he says the things are the way the things are. Yeah. And you'll understand only how it all works when you're out of your body. Um, the understanding is so limited right now. He says, but us animals, we do know mm -hmm. better than you. And he says, it's all I got to say. But you do what you do, what you came here to do. And the thing is, there's a trick going on. Bef when you come here at the soul level, you view it as a diff from a different angle. You think it's not such a big deal. It's not as hard as you realize it is when you are in a human body. And he said, once you get through this experience and you find a way out, it's not an easy task, but it's possible. And people do, and souls do find the way out. Then you never want to get back. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's what we have to understand and realize. And just stick with it because it says when you have a body, it's like you don't have an option. Uh, until to to do something important to bring something because you when you incarnate here you have to bring something ask yourself do you bring the positive or negative charge to this system because with each little positive charge the system stands holds more um, becomes more effective in the fight against AI and they are refusing the way the AI wants us to go which a lot of people are signing up contracts different ways to serve the AI these days and there's another force of people group that is totally refusing to participate and right now it just we're like in hurricane of multiple groups of people doing different things and we're being thrown from one side of the room to another being hit into the wall by the force of nature of the soul's decision what game to participate in because we're stuck in the choosing moment right now what to choose do you choose your own game of your own soul to change something that you want to change or do you want to full fully support the uh, very malfunctional um creation programmed by AI. Mm -hmm. Disturbing world, uh, disturbed souls, or trying to heal, heal the world. And the, so this whole experience has been inspiring me to maybe write a book to help as a healing tool I mean, to teach the world a lot of, you know, what we're talking about and maybe children's story or. Um, right. 
Yeah, well, that's that's important to share. The the um, desire to write comes from what you're writing on the glass iPad as an old right. Syrian. So yeah. yeah, write a book. It's a good idea. That's when you said that kind of was a confirmation on. Um, I my grand my grandfather was quite a journalist writer, and mm. I feel like it's you know a, a gift in the family sort of. I feel it. I think I could do it. I think I would be in. I would be guided. My guides could help. Yeah, you yourself guide yourself because you you know what what your capacities is what you can what positive effect you can bring to the world and what tools you can use according to your soul's DNA. And you are your own soul is guiding you. It's you yourself. It's just that the physical body that you see is really just a mask over the soul. Right. Yeah, it's a good idea. To write a book. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know how people are going to understand all these ideas of, you know, the energy and the earth and the and crystals and all the different, you know, alien races and planets. and The right people are going to understand. There's going to be more of those people mm -hmm. who've been... It's like everybody's going to go through something. This this two years, twenty two and twenty three, mm -hmm. to understand more. It's gonna be like a revela revelation mm -hmm. time for it's, everybody. And in, in teaching and and trying to help people learn, I would imagine it's gonna come in different forms, you know, of movies or lectures or or books or other ways new educational materials. Yeah, there's going to be a, d a lot of different things going on. It's going to be um quite chaotic until the 2024, 2025. This period of time is going to get like slowly kind of to to new normal, let's say, but yeah. That's what your soul is saying, that these two years right now are just... The whole space system is re being restructured, not only us mm -hmm. as a cell of a body. The whole body is being restructured. Mm -hmm. So... And that just... Uh, people want to know the truth, and the truth is... Mm, it's like there is a main truth, main timeline, but then within that timeline, you make this decision or that decision, which will determine how you, in what trajectory you move within this projection of light that is pushing towards out of the um, systematic pain. That's what your soul said. So, so am, is my being here all these soul lives? I feel like I've been on the battling side, or you know, I've been trying to help win this war over what's been happening for all these millions of years and stuff, or something. Yeah. That's how you feel. You feel tired of it because you have the wisdom and you you see that you keep teaching the little kids and they're catching more little kids and putting them in the bodies of humans and programming them with negative programs, right. mind control and everything. It's just, it's kind of like somebody keeps ruining your work all the time. You build a castle, it gets, a castle, it gets ruined and each time you build something important. Uh, that's why a lot of disappointment coming up right now. And a lot of people are 
my feel feeling like exhausted mentally from it. I, I in this lifetime, I've just spent the last forty two years helping my father uh, with a family business, and um, he passed away last February. But the are got pretty much dismantled, and I just closed it down. So it's it's a it's an odd feeling of defeat again in this life. <laughs> Yeah, because right now everybody's feeling it because it's kind of like you understand you live on this mushroom. You're the very core of the mushroom. Mm -hmm. And the whole head of it on top is like an umbrella, right? Uh -huh. it's, it's all all these dots on the red mushroom, you know, like they, they draw it. These are all like demonic kind of organizations who are controlling the whole world. Right. The whole world is under demonic control, which leaks poison to every country. And in each country, there is demonized organizations which are implementing this demonic control system and making people participate in it. So everybody's infected. And that's what you're starting to understand right now. Mm -hmm. How the way they lead everything, they pretend to help, but they don't. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They pretend to be pro people, but they're against. And everybody's slowly starting to understand this. And it's very, uh, it, it, it's hitting you on the head. It's, it's heavy. It's kind mm -hmm. of raining with rocks on your head. So. Mm -hmm. But it's it's kind of like you have to go through this because to get out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and to start thinking more in terms of um, connection to your soul and spiritual thing. But at the same time, you got the physical body in the physical world, which has to do something about it. You can't just sit and philosophy, you know, uh, bring right. philosophy in, right? right? and put it on paper and talk about it, but you have to act. And that's a tough part. That's that's all about the strength of the soul, which is also needed. Because we were very strong when we decided to incarnate here. Yes. We have to bring it back. And, and is that like so many souls are here, incarnated here because they want to be here for this time? Because they've been through this time already before. Oh. It's like a looking glass technology, you know, before you go, you see what you're going to be going through. Wow. And then you, you, you guarantee exits for yourself. Okay. Even though in the physical, it feels like, oh, you know, I'm going to, something is going to happen to me, but it's predetermined. Unless you have a contract with some alien races, malevolent ones that they would push you out of this body through so different, you know, imposed on you diseases or accidents or something against your soul. You'll be killed against your will and things like that was going to be happening these days. And um, so it it's just um, uh, the whole thing is just turned into a massive uh, fight against the evil. Right. And it's the whole earth right now, as I'm looking at it, is like a massive battlefield. Yes, I agree. When you just said the idea about this, you know, you, you had the looking glass. So when I think about that and trying connecting with my soul, I felt very at peace all of a sudden going, oh, I don't have to worry about it. it just like immediately dissipated any kind of concern or worry because this will play out however it's going to play out <laughs> right because the minute you come out of your body you don't think the same way you saw it in the body you all of a sudden everything all the knowledge returns to you it's not a big deal all of a sudden okay i completed right. my mission i'm going that's how you feel <laughs> right good um the other question that i've been thinking about is you know, how do I, I feel like we've been, we, uh, all of these like intuition and, and energy and 
astral traveling and things like that. And you say, you know, I'm, I know I could be in my soul could be working at night while my body's sleeping and traveling around, but how do we, will we be able to understand that clearly? Like would I be able to connect and I don't have to tell anybody, but like, you know, you, what you do and, and the animal communicator, you've got these gifts that you're able to use. How do I develop mine or understand them better? I suppose to. You know, it's like there is time for everything and also you had implants. So it doesn't really mean that you don't have this um, abilities. It just means that something was blocking it. Okay. Uh, and also some people are, you know, came here to do this particular thing and others came to do a different thing. So we're all kind of divided in our functions. Who does better what and therefore but I feel like you feel people. You have a very deep um, feeling and telepathic abilities for sure. And since you related to water deeply, connected uh, dolphin lives and all this, yes, you you can do it too. We just it all depends on trust and big letters on in yourself only yourself nobody else is going to help you yourself okay. going to help yourself to see it to feel it and to trust yourself in what comes sometimes it just comes it's like i i feel it i know it i can't explain how but so a lot of people have that are so my, are the like last night i had a dream about being in some kind of vehicle in a tunnel with other vehicles driving through something but it was almost like a boat but it was also a car kind of thing and mm -hmm. just is there deep information coming in that sometimes you're like zooming through the woods of different events quickly because everything is speeding up right now. Like I said, it's going to rain fast on us every single scenario ev from every single timeline that they uh, uh, cooked for us in the past in advance. It's just going to like be thrown at us at the same time, which is now happening. Look at every, every kind of like mm, part of the world, something is crazy happening in every part of the world. Right. So that's how it's going to be. And you, know, you mentioned about your husband and I, I'm deep into I'm trying to listen and read and learn anything I can to understand this. It's like, I want to see what's coming. So I'm <laughs> afraid. Yeah. And my husband doesn't want to know it all because he doesn't want to bad stuff and that's that's a denial they're in denial they would rather close their eyes and say it's all fake like a lot of truces say oh just don't pay attention it's all fake or it's a good thing that is happening so it's both both things are denying the fact that it's true it's happening and it's a fight against evil but these people are also gonna have their lessons so if not at this time, a little bit later, this year or next year, you know what I mean? Everybody's going to be touched because it's just the energies are pushing and every soul is participating in this pushing. Every soul wants its physical part to wake up and finally see the truth, you know, and finally realize, get to some understanding deeper because they're still at the surface level of yeah. things. They choose not to be involved, and that choosing not to be involved is a big uh, no, is a big, like, you know, you you basically give your free will to the malevolent beings who are trying to control this earth, and right. you're serving them. You're not serving humanity in that denial. And that's interesting. I'm always reminding him that, you know, you have free will to choose um, and you need to think, and I, I'm a big, I'm like, I always say people don't think, and they need to think, and 